Hey, I'm Niall from WIT3D.net. Uh, originally, when I was importing models from Exercise Hammer, I had a lot of problems, but I eventually figured them out, and that's what I'm going to share with you now for the next 10 minutes or so. To start, we have an image of a box 1024 by 1024, it's a Targa, and we have also an image of a ball texture. Uh, let's load into XSI. If we click Object and go to Square, as he falls fine, we can squish down our square, make a circle, move it to one side, uh, so have a look at it from a different angle, scale it down, excellent, okay, so a ball and square. Um, let's go f click on an object, uh, let's go to Textures, uh, Image, um, New Image from a file, uh, box image from our desktop. Okay, um, we're going to click. You have to use a projection then, and unique poly mesh will do nicely. We can't see it. Uh, let's go to shaded texture mode. Okay, cool. Now we can see it. Um, let's change the properties of a bit. Uh, we go to texture, and then we go to sub menu projection, and then we see this. Um, if we highlight everything. Uh, we can just see it move around. So I'm going to T for translate. You can see it move around as I move it. Uh, I'm going to Z and zoom out, and then T for translate, move it over to one side. Uh, and then I'm going to click on my top of the lid, which is the only side I care about. And it's going to translate T for translate, translate it. I'm going to use the rather than the select, I'm going to use this little move handle tool. I move the handles to each corner, like so. Uh, f now that's the top of it done correctly. I'm going to highlight the rest of the sides. I'm going to scale them down, do it really lazy, and put them there. And voila, we have our box. Um, it's all textured and stuff. Um, for the next one, I'm just going to click the object, click Texture, Image, New, from File. Oop, profile and ball image and we're gonna have to select one of these unique poly mesh cool okay we have our two objects in there uh, you have to texture them in XSI before you can export them um, we're going to press 8 to get up our explorer we're going to delete light we don't want light don't care about light we're going to highlight everything and we're going to what do we do we go to, to mesh and then merge meshes on the sub menu okay brings up a duplicate of what we just had um, overlapping so we're, we're going to go to poly mesh uh, sub menu uh, polygon mesh merge meshes double click on that get the properties we're going to bring back our old materials by clicking on merge materials bring the tolerance right down and um, that's it leave that there uh, then we're just going to right click poly mesh and we're going to go to freeze and delete inputs that means we're just left with our poly mesh that's all we have now we're going to export that as an SMD so we click on the valve and we're just going to export it to our desktop so I'm um, going to call it uh, box boxy right box there and then just export that usually we would export a physics one as well uh, minimize there's our box so we have everything so if we load into studio MDL compiler we'll see all of our old settings there um, okay we're going to throw in our box drag and drop see the name change there that's too handy and we're going to call this box uh, WAT3D box so that should when it's compiled it should go into uh, it'll go into C program file steam steam apps username half-life half-life 2 models and WAT3D because we specify WAT3D there uh, we're just going to use the same uh, one for physics as for um, as for the actual model itself just so it'll interact with the background uh, prop physics because that, that has to be synced up with whatever you want it to be in hammer and then you can select the scale and stuff scale you can decide either in XSI or in here um, okay compile you need to make sure that you have the model viewer loaded into the background or else your models won't compile uh, now let's compile our material uh, all we have to do is once again drag oh, drag and drop the material in um, I'm going to leave it broken so I can correct it there, you, I could just change that there ok, compile compile, compile, compile yeah, and press ok ok, 
Um, now let's load into our model viewer and go into WT3D. Uh, the folder this folder contains the game library and any libraries unique to your model or to your uh, uh, in your folder box. Okay, there it is. Cool. Um, its texture is gone though. Let's correct the texture problem. So let's go into our mo compiled models or materials folder, which is just a username Half-Life 2 HL2 materials. We should see whatever we called these two ball image ball box image box image ball image. Where are we? And we're just going to put those into the models folder. Once they're in there, we can just make sure that the support file uh, linked to it is has the correct address, and make sure that the other support file is correct as well. In here, we can the we can specify how shiny we want our model and uh, all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's very cool. And okay, so we are good to go. If we load into our model viewer. We should see the model fully textured and good to go, ready to go into Hammer. Um, load model, could have done it from that menu, but I didn't. Uh, box, okay, there's a box, all textured and game, game ready. Uh, hammer editor. As we load into Hammer, we just go to File and we go to New. Whenever it loads up, File New. Uh, we get to click the brush tool. We make a big box. Uh, make it yay high, uh, primitives, just going to change that to prefabs, and box, so we make a skybox. Uh, we're going to highlight it, right click and ungroup, or else it'll crash. Um, just going to highlight something and go to center 3D view. And we can now fly around our level. There we see your man there, and a uh, trigger that doesn't do a whole lot. going to make prop there, prop there, prop there. we can call this prop item suit. Okay, cool. And uh, just press apply. We'll change to the suit. Going to click on this prop. We're going to call it weapon. Uh, weapon. I'm going to say physics cannon. Cool. Physics cannon. And we're going to call this one our model. Double click. Uh, prop. P or yeah, physics. Yeah. There we go. World model. Just change the world model property to our box. There we go. Apply. Okay. Gonna just make sure. Okay, bracket, bracket, bracket. Change that. Just put those up a little bit so they don't fall through the floor. Then we're just gonna run that map. Gonna call it blah, blah. Take off light, run compiles faster. Once that's done, we should load into as Half Life Two. Um now in a minute we'll see it. Now we pick up our suit, cool, pick up our gun, cool, pick up our box, using the gun. And then we can just fire that around. You can do various things like, um, have it, if you use the QC file, you can make it explode, you can make it stick to a wall, and you can change the LODs, which means you can have a different model, depending on how far away you are from the model, uh, generally a lower resolution model. Okay, thanks for watching the video, hope it helped.